let's suppose, Meg, that for this presentation we're preparing, we're going to send it out to our employees and they're going to watch it on their own. The first four slides don't have a lot of text on them, so we're going to have those automatically advanced to the next slide after a few seconds. So let's start here on slide one and click over on our Transitions tab. Okay. Let's assign the push transition. Push. And we have a nice preview there. Push looks very cool. All right. Over in our Timings group, we're going to uncheck the box that says On Mouse Click. We don't want them to be able to click on the mouse and advance the slide. We want it to advance after a few seconds. Okay. So click where it says After. And now we're going to assign three seconds okay. to that. Now, after three seconds, it would automatically advance to slide two. Great. Let's go to slides two and three and do the same thing. Great. I will click on slide two. And do we want the push transition? The push again. Mm -hmm. Great. And I will unclick on mouse click and check the after box and give us three seconds and I will do the same with slide three. All right. Over on slide four, go ahead and click on that. We're also going to do the push transition. And we won't make any changes over in the timings group. We're going to leave that check mark next to on mouse click. Great. Let's go ahead and watch this plane from the first slide. Okay. So this time go up to our quick access toolbar and where we have the little screen with the play, go ahead and click there. Great. And that advanced without you clicking any buttons. Waited the three seconds. Great. Perfect. Okay, go ahead and pause here and escape. That was great. I really loved how user-friendly it's going to be when we send it out to all of the employees. All they have to do is sit and absorb the information. Exactly. So with our transitions on PowerPoint, there are different ways that we can modify them to meet our needs, like we are in this case. Fantastic.